The fundamental fluids range from Matrix studies the behaviour of fluids at both rest and in motion. This kit comes with a full free curriculum, including students' worksheets. In this video, we will look at three of the nine experiments that can be completed. First, we look at centrifugal pump characteristics. In this experiment, the student controls the flow valve by altering the flow rate in steps until the flow control valve is fully open. The student is able to record the results at each point, plot them on a graph and use for analysis. Students collect flow and pressure readings over various pump speeds and incrementally adjust the amount of resistance to flow using the flow control valve. Students can read the pressure and flow readings from the display on the control module or from within the fluids control software provided with the equipment. Automated data collection can be achieved using built-in sweep functionality. This function controls the pump speed and records the resulting pressure and flow sensor readings. Data can be logged and transferred via USB to an attached PC for more detailed analysis. Pumps are used every day for irrigation, drainage or providing water for domestic use. The main advantage of a centrifugal pump is the simplicity of only two main parts, the casing and the impeller. There are no valves. This experiment gives students the understanding of such pumps and how to apply this to a real world scenario. It also solidifies the understanding of the characteristics of a centrifugal pump and the relationship between pump speed, pressure, flow rate and flow resistance. Centrifugal pumps in parallel allow students to look at the effects of pumps set up in parallel and the effect it has on the flow rate. By controlling the flow valve and taking results at certain points, the student is able to plot a graph for analysis and compare against other setups. In electric circuits, batteries are often connected in parallel to increase the current. In a similar way, pumps can be connected in parallel to increase the flow rate. The final experiment we will see in this video is centrifugal pumps in series. This experiment follows the same process as the pumps in parallel but gives students another set of results that they are able to compare and see how different setups for the pump affect flow and pressure rates. Electrical circuits are often set up in series to increase voltage and in larger setups pumps are set in series to increase fluid pressure. 